Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and today we're going to talk about pain after back fusion or adjacent segment disease. The low back is kind of made up of vertebra or backbones that stack on top of each other. Uh, there's a disc in between, and they come together in the back at the facet joint. And your spine is built to move. That's what it does. So at the end of the day, when we take fusion hardware and we put it in there and we fuse the disc solid, that's a problem because it means that part of the spine can no longer move. And the part that still moves ends up overloading the joint or the segment just above the fused part. And that's a big problem. That's called adjacent segment disease. And what happens is, as you can see here, is that you get bone spurs at that level that press on nerves, and the facet joint can get arthritis, which can also press on nerves. So at the end of the day, fusion predictably breaks down the next unfused level. This is called adjacent segment disease. And the solution is certainly not more fusion. That's really a dumb idea. So stay away from that. In my experience, adjacent segment disease can be treated through advanced interventional orthopedics, which involves the precise placement of your body's own stem cells and platelets to help the ligaments, muscles, joints, and nerves above and below the fusion hang in there. Again, more fusion just causes more problems. So see Regenix.com for more info on this concept, and thanks so much for watching.